Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, is a mixed martial arts rock star. A man who's undefeated both his actual record and in real life. A superstar of the future. Just signed an eight-year deal with the UFC. Money's good. So is this man. Ladies and gentlemen, Sugar Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Look at Paul. Good to see you, dude. What's up? I love it. That was an uncomfortable get up there. Ball I had security. my wire wrapped around my leg. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey. Hey. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. You too. How are you, brother? I'm doing good. Just got done training. Had a hard Monday mornings are usually my hardest session, so I just had a hard session. Always in here. shape, always training, or are you are we training for something right now? You just signed that deal. What does that mean? You got eight fights with the UFC. Have they already been set up? Are you going to be main event? Holy oh, shit. Here we go. Holy yeah. shit. Is that uh, in that deal? Are you paid up front? How does it all work? How's this? And congratulations. Uh, the fight structures are different for everyone. Um, uh, my next fight will be for the title, waiting on ha uh, wow. Aljo and Henry to fight. Kay. If they don't fight, if Aljo pulls out with a bicep injury, I'd like to fight Henry still for the interim belt. So regardless, my next fight will be for the title. Hopefully sooner than later. Um, Let's yeah, go, just resigned with the UFC for eight fights. Hopefully, I don't have to fight all eight fights out to renegotiate. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, right? Uh, so, smart. Uh, Did you put that in there? Was that a conversation? That you was know what? It's, it's just... tricky. UFC is, you know, it's uh, it's tricky. I have, I think, my last like four or five contracts were eight fight deals, but I've been able to renegotiate after two or three fights. Because good business, I, by the way. Yeah, because I, you know, been been growing and uh, putting on good performances. So ideally, I go out there, fight two or three times. Go to the UFC. I have a really good relationship with them. Say, hey guys, I, I think I've earned a bigger contract. I think I deserve reasonable. Reasonable. I think I've earned a bigger contract. And uh, you know that's what happened this last fight. I went out there and fought Peter Yan, the number one guy in the world. Beat him. The killer Russian. Right. Beat him. Beat him. I was waiting for Pat McAfee to say, hey, come on the show. <laughs> Dude, we were not talking UFC much. Dana was no. coming on. We didn't want to overkill it. We didn't no, want to do it. No, I get it. I get it. I just thought we were boys. Whoa! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We've been rooting. Hey, we've no, been cheering. Know, Show's oh, been yeah. talking about him every single time. No, I every single time the fight that. happens, we've been yeah. underwater for this whole fucking football season. Happy to hear that happened, though, man. Congrats on the <laughs> yeah, success. No, thank you. And you're finally fighting for the title. This is what we've been talking about since the beginning, AJ. It is. Do you ever think about uh, like I know you're not. You were never a free agent, but you ever look and entertain offers from other uh, organizations? At you least have, let them let them think that you are. Maybe that's like being in the NFL and saying I want I might go somewhere else. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere else. You want to be in the UFC. You want to be at the biggest, baddest, best promotion in the world, and that's the UFC. So for me, right now in my career, there's no other place I want to fight. I want to fight the best guys in the world. And Do you UFC. live out here full time? I live in yeah Peoria, Arizona, out in kind of an older folks town. I gotta stay away from down here. Smart. Stay away from the chicks. Smart. Stay away from the alcohol. Why? Smart. Why? It's Why? tough. Why? It's tough. But, yeah, I live kind of far from here on purpose. That's smart. That's yeah. a good idea. Arizona's been home for how long? About nine years now. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. You know there's a basement that this guy yeah. trains in. They, yeah. uh, they hit miss yep. every single week. Really? Uh, AQ Shipley lives out here full time. Yeah. AQ, you going to tell him about the basement training you've been getting into <laughs> with Jay Glazer and the boys? Oh, yeah. A couple former UFC guys, okay. Kara, Kara Levis and Aaron Simpson, Jay Glazer. Okay. You've been wrestling you much? Did you say no? Mates? I don't do anything on the just ground. Just wrestling or punching. It's more just kind of hitting mitts. Okay. Yeah. Arizona, break, big MMA community, though. I, it sounds like Arizona's got you know, I would say yeah, top top five place in the world to train. Got a ton of good gyms, bunch of uh, very high level coaches out here. Are you fighting? I remember last time we talked to you, you said I am trying to knock it hit. Like that is yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, Every like, time. I'm not trying to because who was that guy? The cement mixer he fought. Oh, Moutinho. Moutinho. You remember routine. My yeah. hands still kind of ache some days. <laughs> we literally, we, he used his face as a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Moutinho comes into a fight and saying, all right, this thing's going to yeah. beat up both of your hands. Third I think he, after, after I fought him, you guys had him on, yes. and he had said that he trains eight days a week. <laughs> and I was like, this motherfucker should be champ if you're training that much. <laughs> but I think that was partially... When you're training, though, what are you doing? Are you fighting people? Or are we hitting each um, other? Like, right now, how long do, would you need to get into fight shape if you had I to? I would like at least minimum, well, I don't want to, yeah, minimum eight weeks. I would like two months to, to be able to train specifically for a uh, specific opponent. Fight shape, like, I'm in pretty good shape right now, but it's, you know, fight shape's just different. Fight shape is eating perfect, recovering, train, just everything perfect. And I do that probably about 85% outside of camp. I live a pretty disciplined life as far as being in and out of camp. I'm, I, I, still, I still train, uh, you know, full time and eat very healthy outside of camp. Oh, so you're part of the lifestyle. It's, the, it's a lifestyle. How yeah. do you feel about Chandler and McGregor? 
I, I love it. I yeah. fucking love it. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think we it all do. Oh, yeah. oh, God, it gets me excited. Because Chandler's a guy who like likes getting punched in the face. It Chandler's seems like when he fights, he's like cool with it. Like you know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, he's he, he's he's a scary dude too. Um, I think it's a good matchup for Connor to come back. They're all tough fights, but I, you know, I, I like Michael Chandler too. But I've just been such a big fan of Connor, and he's yeah, inspired me, me so much. Uh, you know, that I would love to see Connor come back and get a win, even though I, I really do like Michael Chandler. Yeah, I think we're all kind of hoping as like just we're we know Chandler. Chandler's been yep. on the show yeah, a couple yeah. times. Yep. Good dude, great, great dude. dude. But just as a spectator of sport, Connor McGregor coming back is a yeah. hilariously great storyline yeah. for all parties if he does well. Well, he came back and did the shoulder yeah, to Cowboy. Shoulder punch. That's right. Knocked yeah. the guy out with his fucking <laughs> yeah. shoulder. Uh -huh. And then we we had, okay, we got six months of promos coming yep. from Connor for beating somebody up with his fucking shoulder blade. Like, he's great for the sport. I'm happy to hear you know that. You're great for the sport, too, man. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Dana, Dana and them are recognizing, too. And eight years, that's a big deal. You earned it, though. Eight fight, not eight years. That would be horrible. <laughs> Yeah, and eight it, fights seems like a long time, too. And you eight, were laying out how it sounds like it's a long time. Yeah. But you're right, eight fights. I yeah, apologize. Yeah. No, you're That's okay. A huge deal. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah, no, it is. It's a, you know, I'm finally kind of getting, I've always liked my contracts, but this one I went in and negotiated myself, sat down with, with Hunter Campbell and, and, you know, went back and forth and I got a number I was very happy with and uh, super excited to go out there. Next fight. You negotiated it? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So you went in there and you said, there, here's my number. And if they say anything different, they're telling me my number is wrong. Is well, that your mindset? Well, they kind of have a number. I say, eh, and then they throw. I throw one out, and they're like, "Well, we can do this." And I said, "Well, can you do this?" And they're like, "No, but we can do this." And then you know, we kind of get get to a happy place where we're both happy. Um, but it, it, it was hey, fun. It's fun. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun. Hey, that's not easy to do. It's not. Is it hot in here? Is it just me? It's hot. It's a little it's hot. hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's definitely hot. People have been heating up. You got a shirtless shirt? Uh -oh. Oh, oh hell yeah! That's some merch, nice. dude. Oh, there you go. Yeah, hey. of course. Look at you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, I was wearing this to show off these fucking guns. What? <laughs> what, dude? What, dude? <sighs> Bro, you look so What good. do you walk around at right now? That's a good question. Right now, I'm probably 158 pounds. Okay. I feel like it's a really good number for a bantamweight because I have to get... Next fight, I have to get down to 135 pounds. Oh, Jesus. Damn. The fights, non-title fights, you get a pound allowance. So I could make 136, which is usually what you do because you don't want to cut the extra pound if you don't have to. So next fight will be 135 pounds, and it'll also be five five-minute rounds rather than three five-minute rounds. So you're damn near fighting twice as long for a title fight or at least training for. Uh -huh. Okay, you know. so my question is this, because I think Jake Paul and KSI just kind of introduced this to my life, but it's real. Is there a bounce back weight? Is that something that's being talked about on the other side, like a 10% or 10-pound bounce back not weight? Not in the UFC. Not in the UFC. There's is that no, in fighting, though, at some stages? Some places? Um, catch weights or whatever I, I don't do know sometimes. if that's specific. Uh, maybe. Like after you weigh in, I think. Like you weigh yeah. in at 136. Oh, they'll tell, you, they'll, they'll tell us that about weight. you guys. Like, hey, he weighed in at 135. Yeah. He, tonight he weighs 152 or something. Yeah. Like they tell us that. They're yeah. trying to monitor that, I think, Jake and KSI. Oh, and you're, so you're not allowed to have a big They're bounce They're saying you back. only get 10%. You can oh. only weigh 10%. Is that normal? I've never heard that I don't think it's normal. I think uh, I don't know if maybe it is a little bit more normalized than boxing or if it's more of like an influencer thing like I'll fight you but you can't get too big I, I don't know I, I've never heard of it um but until, you're like built then. perfectly for the fight game because you're you're wiry. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, very wiry. So you don't carry a lot of weight. Long, seemingly. Yeah, yeah. I, I think. I mean, John. Look at John Jones. He looks exactly like me. Maybe yeah, a little, maybe yeah. a little taller. But <laughs> he's uh, heavyweight. You're not heavyweight. You know? No, but that's that, that lengthy kind of body that build is is really good for fighting. It's really good for jujitsu striking. So yeah, I think it's right. like a really. It's an advantage having this build. Ty Schmidt has a question yeah, for you. Sean, are you at the point now where like? When you're looking ahead at when you're going to fight, can you be strategic about, like, hey, I want to be on this card at this place, like, with, you know. Not I, in this state with these taxes. Yeah, exactly. Or, like, you know, yeah. I, I assume that you're trying, especially if you're fighting for the title, you want to be the main event. But yeah. you mentioned John Jones. Like, hey, fuck it. When he's fighting Cyril Gaon, I want to be the co-main event on that card. Are you at the point where you can kind of be strategic about that that's and a, pick and choose? That's a good question. There's th definitely taxes that play a part in, in different states. The last... My last 10 fights before that last fight were in Las Vegas, and that was kind of for a reason. You know, I would tell the UFC, hey, I'd really like to fight in Vegas. It's super close to home. I'm very comfortable with it. They offered me, they say, hey, we want you to fight Peter in, in Abu Dhabi. So my last fight was in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. and, uh, How was that experience over there? I saw you. Uh, I went over about three weeks early just to make sure I got the time difference. It was like 11 hours difference, and I'm glad I did. Maybe it was a little too long, but I would have rather it been too long than not long enough. So uh, it, it ended up being good. 
Uh, but they thought it would be really good for my brand to, to get exposure on that side of the world. So, And I trust the UFC. Hey, if you guys want me to fight in a, sp a spot that I don't necessarily want to, you know, I'm going to trust you guys to do it. As far as being like a co-main event on a certain on a certain card, if you are fighting, if, if you're defending the belt, you get pay-per-view points. So then it would matter if you're on a massive card, like a John Jones card, and it sells really well. Also, then you getting get a it. title is... Huge deal. Big deal. Huge deal. So for me to fight for the title, I don't get pay-per-view points. So technically, if the pay-per-view doesn't do very well, you don't get it doesn't shit. matter. Uh -oh. But if it does really well, it still doesn't really matter. I only get a certain... I don't get a certain percentage of that. I go out there and knock out Henry Cejudo, Whoa. which I probably will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell I yeah. defend my belt against probably Cheeto, the rematch. That's what everyone wants to see. Dog. Fat pay-per-view. I will get percentage of that. Nice. And, the, you know, you sell. So interim title is very good business for UFC. Yeah, the interim. Because nobody's fighting. If nobody has it, nobody's getting points off of this. That's it. Yeah, I mean, if me and uh, Henry were to fight on a main event on a pay-per-view, technically, yeah, you're right. They wouldn't have to pay out a pay-per-view you know, it's I'm just piecing it. UFC's yeah, very yeah. smart. Yeah, they're, right. very, they're, they're very successful for a reason. <laughs> yeah, but if you're the champ, you're bringing in the eyes. You should get points on the back end. That's an easy thing to yeah. negotiate and add in. I think that's good business. What you're laying out here, you negotiating directly with the UFC, you feeling comfortable, you being able to renegotiate before your fights are up, like that's all like very contradictory to everything else that is said mm -hmm. about UFC and business and everything like that. I think the UFC is very fair as far as you you, uh, you get what you kill, you eat what you kill, and I'm I'm killing. So I'm eating. I'm, I'm, uh, I think they're very fair. It is a tricky, you know, fighting is a tricky, tricky business. I've just got it figured out. <laughs> hey, congrats, dude. Thank you, brother. Oh, yeah. uh, Tone has a question for you. We've kind of been think tanking this day because it's our first full day here today. Uh, and you've been here almost a decade. Or should yeah. we be, be wor more worried about the scorpions or the snakes? I think right now in the it's like the winter or whatever here. I, I think we're good. I don't think there's any scorpions oh. or snakes. Oh, yeah. right now. Oh, really? Go. Yeah, I think. I mean, don't I mean, if you get bit by one, it's not my fault. <laughs> no, no, no. But Definitely I think we're good. Would be your fault. You just signed that big new we deal. We get points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did last summer. There was two rattlesnakes right like right outside my house. Uh oh. Fucking. Oh what? yeah. Oh, so baby rattlers yeah. were coming. So we had to take care of them. Oh, how, how do you take care of him? You just turn on some music. Gotta, you call your face. neighbor. Hey, Mark, I am terrified. Will you come over and catch these things? Take care of them for me. Does he do a state, like the back of the neck grab? No, he had, he built like this pole yes. with like a little wire. You pull it and around the oh. neck. Oh, it's Mark's kind of a weapon. Up, so I didn't wow. Watch. Mark's a dog, Mark. Mark. Yeah, Mark. Jeez. He's got wolves. Uh, he got wolves. Oh, they howl with you. You howl yeah, with them right Every shit. night, every morning, they howl. So my neighbor, Mark, yeah, he's, he's a legend. Yeah, he it. lives an hour out in the middle of fucking Mark show. Yeah, no shit. Mark, he's we'll he's living out there so he can uh, eliminate distractions yeah. and kind of live a secluded life. Ah, Mark's living out because he's about that life. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that is Mark's life. Yeah. He's a good neighbor to have. Absolutely. Jeez. As are you, I assume. How is family? How's life? How's everything? Yeah, my daughter, she's two. It's it's a trip the amount she's talking right now and danny my wife's mom just speaks spanish and she's like our full-time nanny so so elena's like speaking spanglish right now it's half her nice. she's, like, yep. her cold. Yep. she's speaking half english half spanish and it's it's so fun right now two years old i can see why people have multiple kids because i'm like this stage right now is so fun that i i, I want like another one okay another one okay Ooh. but also don't want to deal with when your wife's pregnant and all that stuff. Or so it's like, what do hey, I do? I will say, this is my first time. I'm going through pregnancy right now okay, with my wife. Okay, congratulations. First, That's sweet. Thank you. That's awesome. Scared to death. Yeah. Pregnancy is not what I, I like. <laughs> I had no idea what I was getting into. Yeah, I know. What a badass, obviously, what yeah. the women go through is absurd. Mm -hmm. But I had no idea this is what. I guess I should have known. Should I have known? That's something I should have known. Like, this is. She's a fucking badass. Yeah. What's going on right it, They got four kids. What? Oh wow! He's got three kids. Three kids. Three kids. Yeah. One, one. Yeah. Everybody's There's a lot there. going on in there. Yeah. A lot yeah, going there on inside yeah. that body. Yeah. Human. human is pretty yeah. fucking crazy. Dude, wow. it is bananas. Yeah. What's it was, going it was on. crazy when I was taking like online classes with her. Kind of, I was yeah. fucking just sitting there stoned, <laughs> listening. Like, but I was, <laughs> was supporting. That's when you learn the best. Yeah, yeah. But I was. Yeah, yeah. They were talking about the breast milk and how important it is, and going into like the the science behind breast milk. And that it was that's trippy. Yeah, it's that always just been a joke. Like, oh, you're yeah. milking, blah, 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 yeah. and yeah. then you like learn about it. It's like it's oh, liquid gold. The body is Colostrum. actually creating. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yep. It's so, unbelievable. Yeah. So sometimes I try to get a little bit out of that too, just to. <laughs> yes. That's why we look. The placenta, for. right? Let me say bit. the placenta is real powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you take a bite out of that? Yeah, oh, and you gotta drink no. baby blood too, right? Yeah, what you guys do out here in the West Coast? That's what you guys do in the West Coast. I haven't heard about that. Hey, what's that thing you're always selling? The smoking thing. Uh, there's a couple. No, the device. Uh, that that's the Doctor Dabber. That's a dab rig. Yeah. 
You pull know, that dab, up. Can we pull a picture <laughs> of that? That thing's up? awesome. The Dude. dab rigs are the, those are intense. Those things <laughs> those are, are pretty yeah. intense. Yeah, I've I am uh, somebody that frequents the vitamins whenever I'm in legal okay. states. And every time I see you promote that thing, I'm like, that looks like a science experiment to like. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's gonna get you. Have you ever seen the volcano? Oh yeah, the little bags. The bag. That that's like my number one right now. That's, that's my go-to. Because you need your cardio. Uh yeah. I mean, I think it's the healthiest way is is vaporizing it and. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I need that. When you're training, <laughs> are you running, swimming? What do you do cardio wise? I enjoy running a lot. It's uh, I've been training for probably about eleven years, pretty consistently. So running sometimes hurts my knees. So I'm always trying to stay on top of that. Uh, but I I do enjoy running. AQ has a question for you out here in beautiful Arizona training. Yeah. So you've done most. You've, you've obviously loved Vegas, right? Yeah. Would you want to do a hometown fight? Would you want to do oh, a fight God. here in Phoenix? Dude, yeah. I would love to love to be you know main event here in Phoenix. You know, Henry Cejudo's pretty sure says he's from Phoenix or Arizona too. So I think that would make sense if we could come out here. Main Not a event. bad gate. That'd be sweet. Ooh. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that would be sweet. But regardless, eventually, I think I have about ten more years. I'm 28. You know, ten more years of, of training, uh, competing. So I'm eventually, you know, we'll, we'll we'll come out here. Hopefully sooner than later. You oh, see yeah. some new tats, I believe, uh, on the body. Yeah, sometimes I just it's bored when we get them done. Just bored. When sometimes you get I just look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, think about an emoji neck? and fucking just throw it up. How'd that feel right there? <laughs> the neck's not too bad. Uh, yeah. The ones that hurt are just like the longer ones. Yeah. Anywhere that's kind of doesn't take too long, it's not too bad. So. Yeah, tattoo is super random. They're like, what do they mean? I'm like, I don't fucking know. Nothing. Good, for you. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. You still twitching? We still gaming? Still twitching sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I switch over to YouTube gaming, so I still game every day. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube gaming. Hell yeah. Um, Call of Duty Warzone 2 right now. Fuck, dude, I'm addicted. I'm oh, a yeah. I'm a functional addict, though, so I still have to, like, I have to, I can control myself. Like, okay, we've game for three hours today. It's time to get off. Three hours. That's a long time. You're it goes in. like that. Yeah, it does whenever you're just... I mean, you're having fun. Yeah. You're, you're on the headset with the boys. The stream's popping off. And you're, you're just fucking dialed in. And uh, it goes fast. You good Too at the fast. game? You great at the game? Um, Depends who you ask. You ask my little brother, he'd say probably not. But you ask me and no one's looking, <laughs> oh, I'll trash? say yeah. Is that what you're saying? No. I play with. I like to play with really good guys that do really well. And then I kind of just... I'll buy them back if they die. Or if they need a car, I'll go fucking get a car. Car. Here's you sniping oh, right here. here. Oh, okay. look how sweet you look. You play with Optic Scump or? Um, no, I would love to. I mean, I love playing with the with the pros, but they don't love playing. Play with which team's yours? Face Face Clan? No, I don't got one. You don't have a team? No, I'm sugar. You should start I'm sugar. one. No, I'd like to. I don't know. It's just I just like gaming with the boys. Like you can go game with celebrities and and other guys, but I, I like gaming with the boys and and uh, yeah. You game at all? I just got into it. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> that looks sarcastic a little bit. No. No? Actually, I made it. Yeah, really. yep. PGA 2K is my first dabble on PS5. Really? I don't think I've ever played a golf game with, like, a controller. It's awesome. Like it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I can't control my body with Your these thumbs. things. Like, yeah, the way you, you were just doing right there. Yeah. Like, look at this. Literally, you see me do this thing. It's Your fucking thumbs, bam, pow, bang. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it is not, it's Damn, impossible. that's a sweet little fucking thing right yeah. there, though. Yeah, so. I have to get one of them. That's a TPZ. You get it. You, okay. it's, it's TPZ. You're getting there. Because you do your live shows for hours a day. Yeah, three and a half. It's fucking impressive. I'm, that's like me gaming. Yeah, well, I don't know how you just snipe people for three and a half well, hours. Well, I miss most of the time. Well, yeah, so last year we were in that <laughs> yeah, one right there. Sweet. We are on that stage right there. That DraftKings one. At, at the Super Bowl? Yeah, la- the Super Bowl? this Radio Row. We were at that one right there. Where was that Super Bowl last year? LA. 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 It was LA. A dump. And next year is it in it's a dump. Yeah. <laughs> it was. That boy sucks. It was yeah. a dump. Compared right? to this, are you Much kidding better. me? It was a is dump. Is next year in Vegas? Is that what I heard? It might is be. It? Oh yeah, it could be. Because they haven't hosted one that yet. That would they be sweet. That will be, be sweet. sweet. Yeah, that would be hey, sweet. I was just there. I, I I know you fought there and had a lot of celebrations there and yeah. everything like that. Yeah. Do you like Vegas or no? But David yeah, Copperfield. Dude. You ever go to David Copperfield? I want David Copperfield. He's a legend. <laughs> that was interesting. If you ever go to a show, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you look around. Fucking Luke Bryan is here. Yep. Miranda Lambert is here. Yep. Usher is here. Mm-hmm. Adele is here. What? Seinfeld's performing yep. over here. There's five-star restaurants. Yeah, the chefs. Fucking everywhere. 
there's the housing there. Yeah. You could buy monstrous homes. I got a residency at Resorts World now. So anytime I go there, oh, I'm going nice. to Resorts World. They I've heard that club. place is the nicest Dude, place there. I love Resorts World. I try to get it. Remember, they wouldn't let us in. Oh, yeah. yeah. UFC partner now, right? Don't you guys always stay there? Um, or some people? I, I have a the big separate guys stay there? Uh, Our separate uh, partnership with them. I'm okay. not sure if the UFC. Oh, you're too, saying well. you had a deal before them. Nice. If they do have a deal, congrats to them. Sure. I had yeah. a deal before. Nice. Um, so no, sure yeah. The Resorts World is nice. I like how the clubs are downstairs. so You can get blacked out and stumble upstairs. Find your way. I heard the restaurant there is insane, too. Fuhu. I mean, every time I go to Vegas, I go to Fuhu. They have a a bunch of good restaurants down there. Yeah, yeah. but I, I thought, you know, whenever I was younger, uh, Vegas was one thing. And yeah. I had no idea there was other Vegases there. Yeah. But I've had to work there now a couple times. So I've gotten to, like, see some shit that they have and everything. I could see how people would live out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I could see how people would enjoy Especially that. you get oh. Copperfield all the time. Yeah. Are you kidding yeah. me? I'm probably not going to go back to Copperfield. Well, what, are you sup- what are you sipping on there? A little tea? Yeah, it's a green tea to keep the energy levels high. You know, you, it was you a coffee guy or a tea guy more? More tea. Every really? day, green tea. Yeah. Really? More yeah. than a coffee, huh? How about you? You love coffee? You fucking I, I love coffee. I make my coffee. Do an oh. AeroPress every morning. Grind oh, the beans. Wow. AeroPress. Process. Oh. Love the process. Hit a, make sure the water's heated up to 200. Make sure I'm using good water. Hell yeah, wow. create, like, take my... You know, ten minutes to make coffee. I love it. Ooh. Part of your pro- do you work out first thing in the morning? Um, I usually work out around ten, ten, ten thirty. So is that when you wake up? When you wake I up? I wake up at seven thirty eight ish. Do the coffee first. Well, ideally, shit. you don't have yeah, coffee first. too close to waking up. Uh, they say I think about ninety minutes really? is ideal. What? Hold on, oh. I didn't science. Know that. What's this? Yeah. You gotta, I, I think Andrew Huberman. I don't know if you guys are familiar yeah. with him. Pretty yeah. sure he said about ninety minutes, so you don't get that crash. And make sure you get really okay. hydrated, get some protein in your body before you start sipping on your coffee, I guess. is Wow. I'm so not a I don't like coffee because of the crash, personally. Sounds yeah. like what I've been doing yeah. is coffee wrong. Yeah. And how come the rest of the world doesn't know this? How come all my mud friends don't know all this they stuff? They know this. I, they look like I, scientists. They do, don't they? Pretty close. Yeah. Did you think, crash from that? Uh, I think it's, I mean, that's still caffeine. It's more it's caffeine, it's a, right? I don't know. I mean, that's a big cup. <laughs> but I just don't, don't, you won't crash. Green tea, I think, has Is less Superman caffeine than coffee. But I don't know. Similar to Wim Hof, or what's that? Wim Hof of food, I believe. Is oh, Andrew okay. Huberman? Who's Andrew Huberman? Andrew Huberman's Huberman like a fucking yeah. He's yeah, he's very like good. Well, I don't know what his title would be. Yeah, scientist. Scientist, what, right? what yeah. I'd say. Beast. These human, guys love human optimization. A lot of scientists. I'm yeah. stupid. I just listen to smart people, and then they ask me why. That's I'm like, that's because he said it. You're not stupid, then. That's learning. That's yeah. Smart. Hello. Hey. Hey. Oh, look at you, sugar. Oh, yeah. It out. yeah. I didn't do good in high school. I didn't do too good. Did you do good in high school? Absolutely not. Yeah, high school's tough for me. I got into West Virginia, though. That's all you needed. Hmm. Yeah. Harvard of cool. West Virginia. Did yeah. you graduate high school? I don't remember. A little bit, kind of. It's, <laughs> it's like I dropped out. I went to this like alternative learning school. Like to I, be uh, like work on mechanic. And be a, no, it was. What was it called? It was like an alternative. It, it was still like a high school. Like but a it was co-op. For you work half day. I know some people like go to school half day mechanic, and work half day. Right? They like mechanic, like trade yeah, school. Like my yeah, mom like trades welding. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't that. Yeah. It was it was literally just like micro. I, I don't know how to explain it. School for people that don't want to go to school, but you parents still make you. Okay. I don't know. Did your brother go there? <laughs> He's fucking smart. He got. Isn't like, that what school is? School is. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to get learned out. out. Yeah. Yeah. No, my brother was smart. He was like 4.0 and a Damn. good athlete. I want older I, or younger. Younger. Okay. Uh, but for football, like my when I was probably in middle school, I would have sat there and told you I'm going to be in the NFL. Yeah. Hey, I, I saw a little wiggle when he came around yeah. the bench. See with that? The ball. Hey, hey, I'm good playing ball Saturday. Good ball security flag football. too. Celebrity flag football on the sand. Is that the sand game? In the sand, maybe beach ball or whatever. On the turf. We play wide out. Yeah, Safety, wide out, DB, hunter. baby. Who's throwing a ball to you, do you know? Oh, RG3. You take somebody's head off. RG3? Triple, 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 triple sticks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We already got chemistry. I sent him a vid on Instagram, a little route. Just Uh-oh. said, hey, letting you know what I got. Can we gamble so, on that? How many yards? Yeah, can we gamble on this? I'm scoring three with two picks. I'll take your bet. Wow. Oh, you're playing both sides. I better be, or I'm leaving. Because <laughs> <laughs> they got some random WWE girls out there that I probably ain't going to be taking it serious. And if they're in my position and I'm on the bench, I'm going to be a little upset. So I love that mindset towards a celebrity game because I'm trying to get kicked out of it immediately upon getting into <laughs> it. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I like oh, that you're yeah. going both sides, both yeah, ways. Yeah, I want to I wanna be DB. I think they got some uh, Michael Irvins on the other team. Oh, Whoa, yeah. 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 he's still got it. Still got it. What, what yeah. game is this? Stay do, away do from him. Do you know him. what game this is? Celebrity Flag Football Saturday, 1-3. to three. They do it every year, right? Uh, yeah. It's always yeah, a big deal. Really? <laughs> but they ha- they used to do it on the beach. I don't know if they do it. I is that what you're on here marketing? They're not paying me, so if you watch it, I don't really care. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> if they're paying at me, least you're real. watch it. But you're going to do a show. But I'm going to put on a show. I don't want to get too confident, but I would like to go out there and have some fun and score a couple You're the only times. one that's going to be in like impeccable shape out there, yeah. I assume. Yeah. 
And yeah, unless Kurt Warner is Kurt Warner, Warner playing, uh, Mike Larvin still Doug down. Flutie is, oh. I think, oh, on oh, my Doug team as well. Flutie can sling it. Yep. And he slinging. plays the drums, too. Oh, here we go. Oh, here it is. Here 2023 go. celebrity rosters. Quarterback Robert Griffin III going go. against quarterback Tracy McGrady. Is that the Tracy yep, McGrady, yep. I think? Yep. Holy shit. So Robert Basketball? Griffin III is the quarterback of your team, yep. and Tracy McGrady is the quarterback of the other team? What a that fucking right. slap in the fl face to Doug Flutie. Yeah. yeah. And also, it feels like you got picked to the right team. Doug Flutie, Andre Reid. Josh Richards, Sean O'Malley, Nikki Bella, Rob Riggle. Oh, oh yeah. look out. Hannibal Burris, KJ Osborne. Uh, Bilal Muhammad, okay. Frankie Bilal. Muniz. Yep. Frank, he's, he's, that, holy shit. he's a natural. Ronick. Oh, I love Ronick, Middle too. Ronick would be fun. Titus O'Neal's in great shape. And then, But there is a – I don't think it says – it on here. I think there's some couple NFL guys okay. that are going to be current what? NFL guys. Oh, playing? No way there? they're going to be playing. KJ, yeah. KJ, KJ Osborne. Osborne. Christian yeah. McCaffrey. Is he okay? Yeah, there's a couple on there. I don't. Is Christian McCaffrey? You're playing against Clay Guida? How's he going to? That's awesome. I want <laughs> to see Clay Guida. That's funny. Madcap Moss. Moss. Oh, my God. What? You got problems with Madcap Moss. He played in uh, Minnesota. I Where is he? Is he on my team? Or no, what? he's on the other team. Oh, right there, Madcap. Yeah, What's he son playing? of a bitch. WWE. He'll play everything. Oh, he's a WWE guy? Yeah, he's a okay. great athlete. He used to play college football, I believe. Oh, wow. This Billy is blanks. one guy I don't want to fuck with. Justin Gaethje? Yeah. Nope. He's on either. the other team, but I'll probably stick clear of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, Blank. Billy Blanks is on the other team. Tybo, right? Yeah. You're fucked if Billy Blanks starts going into double time. Uh-oh. Dude, look out. Your head will be spinning <laughs> I'm excited to see Tracy spinning around. Yeah, but it should too. be fun. I'm pumped. Hey, good luck out there, dude. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. Hope hey, we get good, MVP. Get a dub for the home team. That's the plan. That's when did you sign this UFC deal? A uh, couple of the, well, I'm still having lawyers look at the, the con it's not actually signed, but it was Whoa. talked about. You have so agreed to terms. Yeah. You have agreed to terms. Yeah, exactly. Still cut off eight of those fights. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. Whoa. I break that out every once in a while. Let's see it. Let's you know hear it. Mean? That's all I got. That was pretty that was damn good, though. I would oh, yeah. break that out more than yeah, every once rhythm. in a while yeah, if awesome. I had. I usually when I get a kill when I'm playing Call of Duty, I'll fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you have the rig where you can set it up and, you know, it's like... Yeah, the Bob like Dylan rig. Yeah. 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 So it's sitting on your neck all the time and you just go to it. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty really awesome. good. It's not a bad idea. We'll send you one. But So I got to hit that every once in a while. We would like to sponsor the um, the harmonica rig. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, get on, we'll get on Amazon after this, actually. <laughs> we would. Yeah. We, would we'll like, get you. We need to get some sound info like from Peter you. Frampton. Jeez, we don't expect good. it on every single kill shot, but at least one kill shot <laughs> yep. a stream. It we would be like, everyone. They're very few and far. It's like every once in a while I hit a kill you got to be the only one that's doing the fucking harmonica celebration yeah. on the internet right now in 2023. I think this might have a couple people ordering them on yeah, Amazon. Probably. Well, hey, you, just, gonna, hey, you need to know. I'm all in. That is not easy to do what he just did. No, it sounds no. easy, but that was unbelievable. Yeah. It's weird because I, I feel like I've kind of gotten a little bit better oh. just from hitting it Randomly every once in a can while. Can we can we hear a little one more? No, no, I can't do it on the. Oh, oh no! If if you're, I mean, it might come out. It's randomly, gotta be organic. Yeah. It's just gotta be. Yeah. Maybe at the flag football. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we'll, the football. Football. we'll get that you a rig just like this. Damn. Yep. See his rig? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Bob Dylan, dude. That's fucking sweet. It's got springs on everything, so you can really go wah, after wah, That's wah. actually. Yeah, yeah. I need one of those. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, we'll get it. We're I appreciate send it that. Over. Thank you. Yeah. We'll Soon. have to negotiate a deal. We'll agree to terms. Yeah. Send a contract. Have some lawyers look it over, and then we'll figure it all out. God, you love lawyer fees. I love those. Congrats on all the success, man. Thank you, brother. Thank We're you. happy for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got a prediction for the Super Bowl. Are you allowed to? Ooh. Yeah, I'm allowed. Okay. It's Monday. Though. That's true. It's that pretty early. True. Some people say the script was already released. I don't yeah, know if you guys saw that. That's a good point. What do you think yeah. about the script and what do you think I, it's I was say? Daniel, actually, my little brother showed me the other day, and that was he was showing me a couple of the memes, like oh, some hilarious. players, and I was, it was pretty fucking funny. Great <laughs> internet. Yeah. Very, internet very thankful awesome. for, right. for the internet. Yeah. What do you think the script says on Sunday? Uh, I think the script says Michael Va Michael Vick comes back. Ooh. Throws a bomb. Michael Vick? Yeah. He, he was, was at the Pro Bowl. He was on the Eagles. Shit. <laughs> he was. I'm like, I'm still in 2010, Madden. Mm, I still yeah. like, those are the players I remember. Oh, uh, okay. You know Smart. I mean? So, hey, judge that accordingly. Yeah. Uh, Chiefs were much different then than they are now. We were, we were looking at like the 2010 Chiefs, like the ones I remember back from playing Madden. And the Chiefs and the Eagles didn't have too many players that I actually remembered. Mm. So, I'm it's impressive they're here right now. Yeah, well, this Philadelphia Eagles franchise, I don't know if you know this, Sugar Sean, just like three years ago, we were actually talking, what's the biggest dumpster fire in the NFL, Houston or Philadelphia? Yeah. Really? Three years ago. Won a Super Bowl. Won a Super Bowl. The entire place burned down. Built a statue. Both people in the statue Gone. kicked the fuck out of the building unceremoniously. 
Like that, that'll happen very quickly in the city of Philadelphia. Goes, of course, we finally win, and then we burn it down. Howie Roseman's got them all the way back. Very impressive turnaround with their coach. To be, to your point there about ten years ago, not being anything, and then the Chiefs, they had this quarterback named Alex Smith, mm -hmm. greatest game manager of all time. People yeah. say, mm -hmm. really, had his best year he's ever had. They go up to New England with Alex Smith, but win, win by like twenty eight on prime time. Get the shit out of Kansas City Chiefs. Immediately following the season, this guy's getting MVP uh, votes. Andy Reid, the head coach, goes, all right, get him the fuck out of here. Send him to Washington. There's this new guy, Patrick Mahomes, that nobody's heard Ooh. of. And ever since he started, dynasty, yep. Sugar Sean. Damn. So both teams, an incredible coming-of-age tale of bouncing back from, you know, dark days and being at the top. Who do you think wins, Sugar Sean? That's life right there. Um, it is, isn't it? It uh -huh. is. Who do I think wins? To be honest, I'm not really sure. I haven't been keeping up with football too much. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's probably Patrick better. Mahomes seems just like he's the fuck. He knows how to win. Mm -hmm. He seems he just knows how to fucking win. And uh, I, I'd probably go with the Chiefs. I was a diehard Broncos fan, though. So there were kind of conflict there with the Chiefs oh, when, okay. when I was watching. You, you know, guys just hired Jake uh, Sean Payton. You, you pumped about that or what? Um, I don't. I couldn't name a guy on the Broncos right now, to be honest. Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson is there. Yeah. Well, oh, Russell Wilson. Yeah. He killed right, it right, this right, year. Right, right, right. You should hang out with Russell. Russell needs that. He does. does. Yeah. yeah. I need Jesus, so that might be good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Holy Match shit. There we go. I heard we, combo. Sean Payton just fixed the Broncos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching when like Jake Plummer. Oh, yeah. Oh, John yeah. Lynch. What? what? Uh, Clinton Portis. What? Um, who else was I? Was I? Ed Champ McCaffrey. Bailey. What? Yeah, I used to just want to be a DB <laughs> champ. Uh, champ was awesome. Fuck yeah, that was when I was watching my prime right there. Demarcus well, Ware, Brandon yep, Marshall, yep. Brandon Von Marshall, Von Miller, I mean Von Miller, Jay yeah. Cutler, Jay Cutler. Was he on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was. Kyle later, Orton. Though, right? Oh yeah, don't Do you remember Tim, he was on the Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow. That's a playoff yeah. win. That's right. Speaking There's of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. 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 Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, keep it going. We appreciate you stopping by. Thankful you were able to uh, yeah. kind of catch up with us. Yeah, no, I appreciate it being a studio. That's fucking awesome. Appreciate it. I hope next fight, regardless where it's at, hope you could pop by, show up. The fight. The fight. I'd like for it to be. You know what? If a thing when you're fighting. A thing. Like it, it'll be a thing when you're. I fighting. want it to oh, be. Yeah. You know, I want it. Yeah, I want it to be the thing where the biggest, the baddest people come out, and uh, I think hopefully it'll be in Vegas in July. If I had a you know, make a prediction right now. That's a big deal well, right there. That's probably some breaking news of some sort. Well, or no? I wouldn't call it. It's, I, it that's just kind of what I'm hoping for. You so will be out west. This is what happens in this particular program. Uh, like UFC folks from your world come on. We watch the fights, but we don't cover every single day. Yeah, yeah. Say something like that. And then we'll be attacked for not knowing that that's breaking news yeah. on the internet by the <laughs> MMA journalists. This isn't, this isn't breaking news. I, I don't know. And Henry and Aljo are supposed to fight in May. And as far as, like, I'm fighting the winner of those guys, so the actual turnaround from May to July would be very, very quick. So it's not even that likely. Uh, so now we're talking November probably. Yeah. Well, I mean, that October. would, that would suck. August? October would be a full year. I will never fight in August again. I fought okay. Cheeto in August, and he kicked me in the nerve, and my leg fell asleep. Oh, and that was where that sneaky, pesky little one showed up. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you know, yeah, yeah. You that's, so I'll never fight August again for that okay. reason. I just don't know if that's a good luck month. It's a bad luck month. So I, I, I would Respect. skip August. Okay. I, would, I okay. won't even be. Mona, I'll tell him I'm, I can't make it. Hey, you're still undefeated, dude. That's that's yeah. I mean, I agree. <laughs> I, mean, I think that's the narrative. That's and science. I, it, 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 thank you, thank you, Andrew. Huberman. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, who we learned about today through you. Yeah. 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 And so many other things. We can't thank you enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Sugar Sean. Yeah. yeah. yeah.